or what even the first step would be to fix, and I'm just talking about cancer here, I got a bunch of other experiments too, but I wouldn't have any idea what to do. So the, one of the things I need to do is not even try, but to say, to evoke another intelligence, I would have to say it has to be, but the intelligence could be me. In other words, I don't know how to digest an apple, but I can digest an apple. I don't need to understand how to digest, digest an apple in order to do it. So the intelligence to digest an apple is me, or could be me. And you can argue whether where that intelligence come from and, and go in an infinite regress. But consciously, I don't know how to digest an apple. Uh, consciously, I don't know how to do almost anything that I just naturally do. And in that sense, I mean, I don't know how to walk, uh, yet I can do it. I don't know how to heal, yet I can do it. And so in that sense, I say there has to be, because my conscious brain certainly is not capable of even knowing what the first step would be in this. No question? Yes, first of all, I hope you can do some work on baldness. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, about warts. Um, Jerome Frank uh, treated children's warts by pr uh, painting them with a brightly colored dye, and he found, and telling them it was a magic dye, and mm -hmm. that it would eventually go away. Yeah. He found that way, that... Oh, I've had people mock me in all sorts of ways about the warts. Yeah, uh, they, they have, I had a dermatologist explain to me how to get rid of warts. You take an apple, and you tell the person to cut it in a certain way at a certain time, at a certain frequency, at a certain, and you do that a certain number of times per day for a certain number of days, and it'll get rid of the warts. And he says he does this in his clinical work. And he says it works. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Though I can cut an apple. Yeah. One of the alternatives that I need to call is to um, vary the, uh, the nature of the healer. So, for example, in our research, with um, the effects of radium, with the effects of radium on microvascular leakage, inflammation, of rats, that were stressed by the mold. In order to control for the presence of a radio pressure in the lab at the day point of day, we had cancer from the age. We had control people come in who had no background in healing, no intention to heal, but just to wave their hands to look like a healer. <laughs> so if you videotape them, which we did, and you show them to blind judges, they can't tell who's doing Reiki and who's doing fake. <laughs> <laughs> and under those circumstances, you do see the uh, the appropriate reduction in the microvascular leakage with the genuine rate compared to the sham rate. But I don't, my sense is that in your studies, you never have a, these kind of intention controls. Yeah, we do. Uh, I, I'm looking at most details. In, in one experiment, we had six rooms going on at the same time. So if I was in there sitting with a cage, a student was sitting there sitting, sitting with a cage. Uh, they tried to replicate exactly what I did with no training and, and, and all that. And, and they, they, oh, they all got cured, because they all get cured. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that, so, but now the student would leave. They were in a healing experiment, and they were, in, they were attempting to do Yes, right? yes. They were not in intention. They were not just there to fake. They were not there. To, what I'm trying to share with you is that this is also an intention contamination or variable that still hasn't been addressed. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's worth looking at. I agree. I agree. The last question. Yeah, I was just going to ask what your healing technique is. Is it breaking or therapy? No, something that I co-made up with some other guy. And, I, and it would take me a long time to explain it. But it ha I can tell you what it's not. It has no faith. It has no belief. It has... It has... Uh, yeah, it has intention. Uh, it has intention. And it, it, it's a mechanical process. It takes quite a bit of practice to master, uh, but you can do it relatively mechanically. Uh, it is completely faithless and beliefless. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. We could go on for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks.